Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're going to be checking out the public beta of Bazile, or Bazile, I'm not sure, by Yuhei, U -H -E com. Check them out. You can get this uh, public beta on the KVR Yuhei forum. So, yeah, you can get it there. And uh, it's been a few years waiting for this, uh, and it's been a few years waiting for Bitwig as well. So, it's been a weird morning kind of having them both open and talking to each other and all that fun stuff. But yeah, this is uh, Yuhei, and what it is is a modular uh, synthesizer. And what you do is you have like all these little modules, as modular modules, going into each other and filters and all that fun stuff, and everything talks to each other, and you get really weird, unpredictable sounds. The thing in like Dead Mouse's streams, the, the giant thing behind him with all the cables, that's a modular synthesizer. And this is basically the same idea, but in software form. So it's flexible and it's uh, really fun. So the first thing that uh, I've only been using this for about like 20 minutes, but first thing that's readily apparent is the filter section. And there's four filters, which is pretty crazy, but the routing of these filters is pretty insane because you know how usually you have uh, filters being in series or parallel you can have these in series in parallel feedbacking into each other feedbacking into other ones going into other ones and all that fun stuff each one of these red ones can go into another input so red goes into white so red is output so that's like a positive voltage and uh the uh, silver uh, kind of inputs would be like a modulation or an input. So I think you can have a f like modulation into the frequency range by inputting uh, an oscillator into this, but it's all theory. I'm still working around it and I will let you know when I figure that out. So let's uh, drop in a oscillator one. We'll go 24 dB low pass, and I will do that. All right, so we have that resonance really crispy and crispy and nicey. Right. So what you can do is you can have an, you have another output here. Um, I don't know how to split them. Maybe it's in this multiplex. I'm not sure, but you can take the output post or pre amplifier, I assume, and have that in. Uh, filter 2 here and then you can have the output going back in to filter 1 or we'll have uh, let's see let's have oops, uh, we'll have bandpass and we'll resonant that guy I'm doing something wrong aren't I alright there we go see what I was talking about when it's like kind of unpredictable Right, we have that, and we can just have them kind of going in to each other. But then we can also have another set of filters going in parallel, the low pass. So what it's doing is it's basically splitting. It's all They all share the same cutoff point, which is pretty cool. Um, but it's they're being effectively split, and uh, the band pass is going into uh, filter 1. And that's going out. So it's all visually uh, seen, and already it's confusing me, which is okay. Um, another cool thing, you can route them. So we'll go 12 dB back into it, so get like maybe a smudge or so. What's my volume? Did I turn my volume down? No, not really. Right, and then you can just do all sorts of weird stuff. Also, you have the, these two other filters down here, and these kind of like auxiliary ones. And, you know, you can do crazy stuff like that and have that into another output. Have these into another output, I should say. So we'll do that, and then we'll see what that sounds like. Right, and then you can go into here, and you have uh, these filters... Uh, accessible here right under the hood and it's pretty cool um so yeah that is you know already 
kind of neat. I'm still exploring it a tiny bit. Uh, you can modulate any of these, but I think we'll get into that in the next video. All right, uh, please check it out again. That's u-he.com. And, uh, yeah, you can check them out there. And uh, I guess we'll be back. Exciting times. It's Christmas.